Hello, my name is Ethan and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Metamorph League. In this episode, I want to show you guys a new weapon planned. A new weapon? Yep. So, uh, it turns out that there is a weapon better than my Hatred War Staff. Why is that? Uh, th the reason is my Hatred War Staff, for the longest time, I was planning on corrupting it to get uh, Fortify or Onslaught as an implicit corruption. I found out that you cannot get those implicit corruptions on a War Staff. So this is the best I can get other than the 6% more Hatred Aura effect. Okay. Huh. So, it turns out that we go back to the Coronal Mall and we look at this uh, bad boy. Plus one socketed gems, minions deal increased damage, socketed strength gems, and, uh, and you do the crafts, and then you, you double corrupt attempting to hit on slot fortify, and that's better than the hatred staff. So, that's the goal, that's the plan. Um, I'll show you guys the crafting from the base up to... Uh, this, I'll show you some of my Fenimal Plagued Arachnids, uh, which is a split beast. Uh, enjoy the video, enjoy the crafting, and enjoy our new thing. Obviously, this video does not include the double corruptions yet. That is to come, but just to throw it out there, there is a better weapon. Holy moly. The mall I went for is an item level 83 Coronal Mall with three white sockets. That's why I used the base, and it's already six-linked. Okay, so I'm going to put Faceted with Bound, Prismatic, Corroded, and BOOM! Socketed Int, Minion Damage. Let's go again. Socketed Melee, Aura, Minion Damage. Okay, here we go again. Socketed Strength, Socketed Deck, Socketed Gem, Minion Damage. Okay, here we go. We're slamming this one and this one. We got strength, int, melee gems, minion damage. And over here we got melee gems, minion damage, aura skill damage. Another one. Plus one minion damage, aura skill gem. Subscribe! I'm going to reroll minion damage and plus one. I got strength. Plus one strength minion damage. Tier four. Okay, let's try again. Plus one, plus one, 120. We got the T1 damage. I'm testing out Sanctified. 130 plus one aura damage. Okay. And we got melee, minion damage, aura. So this one I can redo. Okay, let's try again. Strength. Here we go. We got int. Here we go. Dex, plus one, aura. Here we go. Okay, this is my thing. I think that it's best with prismatic, corroded, bound, and fasted because it rolls the socketed stuff more okay so i have this nutty staff plus one strength gems plus one socketed gems minions deal 100 percent 130 percent increased damage three white sockets i got a fenimal plagued arachnid okay split beast let's split it let's just see what happens let's split an item in two Thank you, let's find a, here we go, oh, socketed gems got split with support, and this got strength and avian and minion damage, oh, if I, So I just have to split this. If 
Fenimal plug, and then I can I split this? Oh shit, you can. Fuck. So, what is the overall uh, story of this? So basically, I did all those fossils, and what I found is when I rolled the four socket using bound plus faceted, I had the best results. Uh, when I put the corroded and pris prismatic. So the reason for that is prismatic makes no poison or bleeding modifiers and this one makes no elemental. So they cross each other out and they remove all elemental and all poison or bleeding modifiers. And so you only get the ones you want, minion and the socketed, and there's barely any other mods. It's really good. Um, can highly recommend that. I tested doing just bound and thing. It's not very good. I tested bound and facet plus sanctified to higher roll the minion damage. It's not good either. Eh. And just just do the the first one four socket bound prismatic corroded and fasted there you go and then you roll these um and then if you get stuff you want which would be um the minion damage and the strength gems you can split it in this case i i'm probably just going to sell plus one minion damage um maybe a null it and uh i can keep rolling them and the finished product is like 30x or more for this and then these ones once you fully complete them with strength socket gems minion damage uh, and then you multi uh yeah 30x easy profit and i'm gonna double corrupt these for fortify we're trying to look for fortify um and that'll make us have the better weapon pog champ that's the goal that's the thing that's the conclusion that's the overall what we're going for here it's super crazy that after all that hatred staff shit i'm i'm not even oh my i can't believe this dude but yeah this is what happens when a viewer comes to me showing me something better than my hatred staff and pointing out that i can't corrupt this thing feels good man feels good man thanks for watching this episode where i literally burned currency spent a ton more currency craft or uh, buying these um, wish me luck, obviously, on the double corruptions, and I hope you guys look forward to it. Let me just explain this one in case you didn't understand also. This is 130 minion damage, plus one socket to gems, and I hit the suffix auras from skills grant increased damage. So, if I hit the annul, if anyone hit the annul on this, this has, basically, instead of the normal suffix... Of hatred, which you can't get on a mall, Mace. We got the aura damage one. What the fuck? This is insane, dude. And you know what the best part is? I did it twice. So I have plus one socketed gems, minion damage suffix, and I just would have to hit the prefix socketed melee gems with an annul. Oh my fucking god, I did it twice. So thank you so much for watching. Just to explain again, very simple, run through it. Item level 83 mall is what I was using. I have the three white sockets, fully six link, beautiful base. And then what I do is I, I, at minimum, you have to use a bound plus faceted fossil with the uh, dull fossils to roll. You're looking for minion damage T1 and strength gem. Then if you have it as a rare item, you can split beast to turn it into a magic item and to hopefully get the strength and the uh, minion damage on the same item there are a prefix and a suffix you can then it's a magic so you can imprint until you get the plus one that's the secret that's the tips and then like i said you repeat this until you get the plus one so you have your strength increase damage and you get your plus one and now you have your perfect base and you multi up and then uh, it's ready to be double corrupted pog champ thank you to my youtube members and patreon supporters and subs on twitch who financially support the channel have a good day